innumerable qualified but unemployed nurses in Meghalaya on Friday attended the overseas job fair organized by the state government in Silong. Chief Minister Konrad Sangma was the chief guest during the function. Talking to reporters, the chief minister said that there is a huge gap in terms of healthcare service, especially nurses at the international level. For the first phase of this program, over thousands of nurses joined, expressing their interest in employing and engaging nurses from Meghalaya. Agencies from several countries attended the program. The nurses who registered at the fair will be given training in Mumbai, Delhi and Bangalore. During the training, these nurses will be trained in language skills too. Agreement will be entered into with the parties from overseas that are interested in recruiting these nurses. The government will be investing about Rs 50,000 to train each nurses. The Ministry of Labor has also been roped up for this program. Yes, uh, basically this is an uh, uh, initiative that was taken by our Honorable Minister for Health, uh, Kong Amperin Lingdo, where uh, there was a huge gap that was seen uh, in terms of the need for health care uh, uh, services, especially for nurses uh, at the international level, and the uh, availability of skilled uh, manpower at the state of Meghalaya. And hence, uh, the only re requirement was to actually connect these two dots, uh, where the government could play a very crucial role in uh, financially supporting as well as uh, logistically supporting this entire initiative. And that is what we're doing today. We have this uh, overseas job, uh, nurse job fair, where uh, you know an overwhelming response has come from the uh, nursing community. We have more than 1,000 nurses who have uh, come in here in the first phase. And uh, we are now going to go through a selection process where a uh, uh, you know, few nurses will be selected. And uh, the government of Meghalaya will be uh, you know, supporting them with 50,000 for their training from the government of Meghalaya's side per individual. And uh, as many as they qualify, we will be happy to support as many as possible. And we hope that once this happens, this will be a huge impact, not just in the personal lives of the individuals who get through, but for the overall state where foreign exchange, uh, different connections and different sectors will then open up for economic activity uh, in the state with the country with which we are able to uh, partner with and send our manpower out there. So it's a, it's a great step forward and I congratulate the Honorable Minister, congratulate the department and uh, all the stakeholders who have made this particular job fair a possibility. We will be uh, having this job fair also in Tura very soon because uh, uh, our nurses from Tura were not able to come. So we will ensure that uh, in Garoville's uh, uh, region also uh, this job fair uh, is conducted. And in the future, uh, not just nursing, but we hope to be able to expand and, ex uh, you know, and uh, reach out to other uh, sectors also apart from nursing, like hospitality, like uh, you know, the construction sector, and even areas of life, say for example, music and other sectors. So we are seeing a great opportunity and this is just the beginning. We hope that we'll be able to really uh, expand this and really provide a uh, great opportunity to the youth of our state. So, so this, is a, this is a pilot project uh, and hence uh, uh, we have been told that about uh, 50,000 from the state government side support will be required, which we have agreed to. So depending on the number of uh, uh, candidates who qualify, go for this training. The budget will depend on that. But say on a ballpark figure, uh, even say suppose 500 of them qualify. So we're looking at a two and a half crore uh, benefit uh, of our sorry, subsidy to be given from the state government side. But if you look at the other way around, that uh, each one of them will uh, on an average get about one and a half lakhs per month of salary that's approximately about uh, close to 15 lakhs uh, you know, of salary in a year. So uh, if you multiply all of that, uh, you know, the returns are much larger and much greater uh, in terms of the revenue uh, that uh, the exchange, foreign exchange that will come in back into the state. So it's uh, maybe one of the most uh, best investments that we can make as a state government uh, to provide jobs, training, exposure and uh, get back the returns in terms of the um, uh, foreign exchange. So will, will there be... Uh, no, there's no question of a bond. You see, the, the once they are selected, there is a guarantee that they will get a job in one of the countries abroad. 
So that is how this works. And hence, when they are selected for the training, because obviously the, uh, the recruiting agencies will uh, uh, do a screening process and based on their aptitude and their overall uh, capacity and uh, their ability, their knowledge and other factors which of course the agencies will decide, uh, they will be selected. As I said, once they're selected, they are guaranteed a job uh, in the overseas market. So,